video uh, if you're new here well hello and welcome my name is Oluchi Lloyd welcome to Oluchi Lloyd TV please don't forget to subscribe mm -hmm. subscribe to Oluchi Lloyd TV and feel free to leave your comment below so today I want to talk about this ongoing stuff uh, look at that monkey <laughs> guys look at that monkey look at that monkey look at that monkey look at that monkey <laughs> let me show you guys look at the monkey ah, it's going in there oh my gosh yeah look at it look at the monkey let me zoom for you guys to see where is it oh he's running away now mm -hmm. so guys uh welcome to olichi lloyd tv if you're new here hello and welcome click that red button where it's saying subscribe like the video share and feel free to leave your comments below so this thing that is really going on in nigeria like seriously a whole president can shut down a um a, 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 a twitter and the same time uh shutting down i think they say very soon it's gonna shut down the um, uh facebook as well so guys uh, oh my god and i'm like seriously what are you guys doing what are the nigerians doing because this thing is like i don't know how to put it um a lot of people they don't even know i, I don't know i don't know i don't know they don't know their right the president of nigeria uh most of the citizens they don't really i don't think they know their rights because how can a whole a president shut down um shut down the uh, um oh today there's a lot of monkeys here so mm, mm, okay let me show you guys if this one is not gonna run that monkey. and it's sitting very 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 comfortable that's how they behave and sometimes they come to snatch our food in the house <laughs> can you guys see the monkey there mm. Yeah, that is the monkey. So, this issue of, uh, you know, shutting down uh, Twitter and also, guys, to be honest, eh, um, most of our African people, they, they, they don't follow the rules and the regulation. I mean law, when you talk about law. Okay, now... Uh, don't worry. I think my color here. I don't know. Maybe because of the lights. I don't know the position where I am uh, I have to say something here um, This kind of uh, thing that is going on between the president Muhammad and the Twitter and Facebook You know these people they are leaders they think they are above everybody and they When they go to Twitter then got their rules and regulation the same thing goes to Facebook Facebook also got their rules and regulations. Uh, Instagram is the owner of the uh, owner. I think um, the owner of the Facebook also own Instagram. So if you go to their things and conditions, you will find that this, these platforms, they all got their rules. Uh, like uh, the way YouTube also got their rules. These platforms, they all got their rules and regulations. So all we have to do is um, like... Um, follow their rules um according to Dwari's tweet they say is is a violent that is the reason why they deleted his tweets and if they can do that to uh, another monkey everywhere is monkey today so if they can do that to exactly uh, donald trump so who is it worry that they can't do it to you know where it tweet is like threatening he's threatening the um, indigenous people of biafra reminding them of the biafra war reminding them that's a very harsh tweet okay the tweet is very very harsh i see someone saying that uh, the twitter is um uh, is uh, the way they bound it uh the restriction is uh, harsh the restriction is not harsh rather than threaten the what is written in the twitter is totally harsh so that is what happened there so i'm using this opportunity to remind you guys that every country got their rules and all these platforms they all got their rules you need to follow the rules and the regulation before you have 
problems okay if you don't follow the rules of the regulation that is why there's restriction for the uh, your account also uh, they then will shut your channel or they will restrict your instagram or they delete the post you know we africans we don't like to read and and that is why many of them they are taking advantage as if they can do whatever they want and get out with it so what i have to say here is uh, the reason for that twitter issue and i'm sure that uh, before they tweeted it which is like muhammad i'm sure he's the one handling worries uh, um twitter account like muhammad is the one handling the twitter account i'm sure he knows and uh, i don't uh, there's no way he wouldn't know that when you tweeted such thing you get into trouble maybe they know it's a trap that they set to shut twitter down i'm thinking that is kind of trap that they just put it down to because uh, according to Lai Mohammed, that certain NSAS period is not happy because the NSAS protest was organized on Twitter uh, because Twitter is where they are just you know organizing stuff. No uh, leader in that uh, particular NSAS protest. So what happened there is that this thing is still in their hearts, is still in their mind. They are being angry. They are not happy with it. They say, "Oh my God, why uh, this youth? They are taking advantage. They want to come over, shadow us. They want to remove the food from our mouth." I think, guys, that's what happened that period, that particular period of time, and they are just like um, they are. Um, how am I going to say? They are waiting for today they are waiting for this kind of thing to happen for them to take their action because they don't want to take action that particular period of time during time of answers so that the world will not question them about that i think that's the why they kept quiet uh for that particular period and they're still waiting for the today that they deleted their post they are taking it as an advantage to you know ban twitter in nigeria so um if youth of the nigerians if the nigerians people cannot take action for now which means uh this is the kind of less of military dictatorship is like a dictatorship okay it's like the regime is a dictatorship if you guys cannot do anything concerning the banding of twitter in nigeria before you know it now they will ban you from instagram from instagram they will ban you guys from facebook from facebook they will ban you guys from all the social media platform and i don't know how are you guys going to survive it so if you just keep quiet without doing anything just know by heart that uh, you know um things will keep on getting worse and you will not do anything so because um i think I don't know i don't know you guys should just you know try to you know say don't accept this if you really accept it because i see many of these musicians they always using twitter to you know advertise their you know um publish their song they use twitter to communicate with people their friends all over the world they tweet about the things they are doing they tweet about traveling they tweet about music what what uh businessmen and women oh, there's a lot of people that uh, you know they can't do without tweet uh tweeting so if you guys keep quiet you're not doing anything about it if you keep quiet you're not saying anything anything about it what you are just seeing now is money you need to take things very serious when i mean serious you need to you guys need to really take it serious if you're not gonna take it serious just know that you will continue to remain like this it's going backward every now and then you continue to go backward to go backward even people they are complaining you guys don't have electricity the even internet that some of you guys use is not strong so i don't know that is why most people from nigeria to do uh, social media is very very difficult you know so guys it's so hard it's so hard you guys should do something now before it's too late try to do something before it's too late because uh, if the president can ban come on because they deleted his twitter to ban just one person and nigeria is about 200 million people is it million or billion Nigeria is 200,000 million people just because of the deleted one person post. That is the reason why they are banning Twitter in Nigeria. What? What? Oh my gosh. 
so i don't know if the president is ruling himself or he's ruling the people you guys should know what to do i don't know i'm just telling you guys that uh, if you don't do anything now in future this is gonna be out of hand is uh, he's already getting out of hand but uh if you don't take if you don't do anything about it Mm -mm, I'm so so sorry. There will be a time when you are doing social media, then we'll ban you, then we'll ban you, then we'll ban you, then we'll ban you. Of course, most of you guys do social media, advertise your business on social media. You do a lot of uh, so things on social media to survive. People need to survive. If you don't have money to go to uh, to trade, to rent a shop, to rent an office, you do your thing online. Okay. So if they stop you from internet, just know that the poverty and uh, uh, totally increased it's gonna be totally increased so you guys should do something now before it's too late what is this reason for banding twitter in nigeria is because during the time of NSAS period uh this i think they did a lot of things for twitter to you know not approve the uh, uh the protesters or the you know uh, those people demanding for their rights so the they, they, they twitter didn't take any action so they are not happy with that and secondly they tweeted saying that Mazina Dekalo always tweets nobody has ever banned him nobody has ever you know deleted his post why is the president this that but Mazina Dekalo is asking for is agitating demanding for his right he's asking for right he never threatened anybody to like uh, using the war, what happened in the past to threaten people. No, 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 no. Uh, what you guys are doing now is just obvious. You're showing the world the reason for the agitations here and there, both Odudu and Biafra. So the statement that comes out from the president of the Republic of Nigeria is a, is a sign to, for the world to know that the people are agitating is their right and the reasons they are agitating. They have been in the kind of uh, somebody trying to you know manipulate them, uh, forcing them to remain one, using threatening words, using all etc. etc. things. So guys, mm. so leave me your own comment below because i can't finish this alone and if you come across this video do share this video It's uncalled for no country does that no country every country uh listening to their citizen not to intimidate them or using threatening words on their citizens i don't know where you guys got this advice from but all i got to say here is that it's unfair it's unfair you guys to not use such statement next time to threaten people you rather say different thing not to remind them you know it's like you're poking people on their wound and you know that uh, after the prayer different war people mind has not uh you know people people mind is not people are not happy about that word and also what is going on after the word the, the, the same thing is keep on going on uh tribalism uh religionism and uh you know um uh, 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 what is it called? Tribalism, religionism, and also uh, nepotism. Okay, nepotism. Okay, all those things are the people's anger. The reason why people are very, very angry that uh, such things is going on is because, oh my gosh, you ca you guys know the story now. Uh, people are not happy. They are not happy. They are not happy. Uh, to date, fr from the beginning of the Biafran War, it's up to date to date the same thing that caused the war is still the same thing that is going on they have not stopped that that issue there's not they just use mouth to say it we are one we are one but by the behavior and the action speak louder than voice so anyway guys i would love to leave you